All right, well, here we are back at the title screen, but it's not because I died, or at least not in a normal way. I, um, actually broke the game, you could say. This is becoming more like Glitch Trek than Flash Trek, all right? Flash Trek Romulan Lores, more like Glitch Trek Klingon or Romulan Wars. And, uh... So basically what happened, if you don't want to watch the episode before this one, and, and really, why would you not? I mean, if you want me to read this to you, you're just going to have to watch the previous episode. So there, now you have a reason to watch it. Alright, shield activated. Now they will remain at 100% because this is up. Alright, I don't even need other ships at this point. Okay, because I'm going to find myself some transphasic torpedoes. And it's going, I'm going to be able to eliminate that star base in one hit. Well, how many hits would it take? It's, it has five, four hits, I think it is. I can destroy it in four hits, but the last hit cannot be bringing it to zero, which is what I did. And that just glitched it out completely. Stupid idea. Firing quantum torpedoes. They, they're super effective. They're super effective. And, um, the photon... I can't even believe photonic torpedoes are still around that blue thing that's down there. It looks kind of like a quantum torpedo. I know, but it's not. And it's just, it sucks so bad. Oh, gosh. I think I need that chip. Because I, I took on a cloaking device. And I didn't even want it. I mean, it's just... It's something that happened. And I didn't... I didn't want the cloaking device, okay? I didn't ask for that. Wait. Wait a minute. I'm still cloaked. Did I just find another glitch here? I'm still cloaked. I better be able to fire torpedoes. Okay? I better be able... I'm trying to transport this. I, I better be able to fire my weapon still, okay? Because if this is another glitch... Oh, no. Oh, no. I can't fire phasers while cloaked. Well, this is just ridiculous. Can I fire torpedoes while cloaked? No, of course not. I can't fire any... I'm not cloaked! What makes you think I'm cloaked? I don't have a cloaking device in my entire ship. This is... Oh, gosh. Why did I do that? I kind of had a feeling that would happen. I just wanted to see that it would. I just wanted to prove that this is indeed Glitch Trek. And it is. I already knew that, though. I already said that it is. I didn't need to prove it again. But there you go. Glitch Trek indeed. So I need to get another ship. I need to get the galaxy built. One that doesn't cloak ever so I can transport to it so that I can go kill something. Good thing this is... And then there's a shield animation at the left of the screen. It's just started for some reason. Hold on. Hold on. I can fire phases again. But I, I ran out of energy. What is going on? There's just glitches everywhere. This is so weird. I, I, I'm becoming dizzy. Alright, I don't even need that galaxy class now. It's just going to get itself killed. The USS Constellation. There's irony in that somewhere. No, please don't kill yourself. Oh gosh, it did. Well, that was a waste of resources, honestly. Oh great, power failure. These photonic torpedoes do sad damage. It's just, this. it's sad how little damage they do. I mean, look, how many do I have to shoot at you before you notice it? Alright, I'm using these quantum torpedoes, because there's another packet right here. Not even caring that you're disabled. I don't even care anymore. Okay? I actually did that completely by accident. I wouldn't have... I, I don't... Ah, uh, I'm out of torpedoes. Alright. Beam them up. Just remind me to beam those up. Okay, I didn't mean being forward. 
I've got four torpedo launcher. I don't even want that. Delete it. Ah, oh, this is irritating me a little bit. Just a tiny bit. Do I sound irritated? <laughs> Do I sound irritated? Ah. Just one hit kill you all. Who said you could still be alive? I didn't say. You didn't get my permission to live. Who gave you a permission slip to saying you couldn't live? I didn't give that. Would you die, please? This ship has such little damage. It's sad. Okay. Great. I killed my team once again. I, I'm so happy. Alright, well, time to finish what I started. Or attempted to start before I glitched everywhere again. Uh. Oh, great. I've got torpedoes again. This is good. This is good. Okay. Don't kill me. See, the good thing about this Daredex is that I've got... Finally, I'm a fortress. Finally, I'm a super fortress. I was just thinking a minute ago that I should have named this ship the Super Fortress. Because that was the... That was the contemporary of the Dominator. B-32 Dominator and the B-29 Super Fortress. B-32 was a design... There's a little bit of history here. The B-32... Well, I'm gather resources. The B-32... Interrupt myself again. Just to say I'm interrupting myself again. Just to continue the pattern of interrupting myself. Anyway, the B-32 was a contemporary of the... Flying Fortress. Super Fort. No, not the Flying Fortress. The Super Fortress. B-29 Super Fortress. Ha! Ah, Romulan. Did you read that? You should pause. Should have paused the video and seen that. That was pretty funny. A Romulan saboteur sneaks aboard your ship and destroys it. So, you just steal theirs. Brilliant! Except now I have this awful cloaking device here. I don't want that. It just causes glitches to happen. I don't need any more glitches, please. Thank you. No glitches. I would very much appreciate a lack of any more glitches, if you don't mind. Alright, let's just do this again. Killing my team. Yes, but they're red shirts. It's almost fun to kill them. I mean... If it wasn't fun to see red shirts be killed, why would they be killed in so many Star Trek episodes? Okay, think about that. They always die. Okay, red shirts, everyone likes to see them killed. I mean, why not? Because they die all the time. It's like, it's their only purpose. Literally, their only purpose is to die for our enjoyment. So just enjoy it. Don't even worry about it. Just, just enjoy it, alright? The red shirts are there for you to laugh or do whatever you like to do when people are killed in a very, very sad way. But it's it's their only purpose. It's why they exist. So it's not sad, right? It's not sad. All right, here we go. Just bring it down to size. Those trans. I could really use some more transphasic torpedoes. All right, let's see. How much damage does this do? Is it 50? 50. Alright, so it's, it, it's a tenth of the transphasic torpedo. Alright, but there are like 20 of them, right? There are 20 of them. So, uh, what does that make it like? Hold on, I need to do some math real quick. Just dismantle that. It's an embarrassment. Alright, I'm trying to do some math. Hold on. Great, a chip. That's what I was looking for. Alright, so just some math being done here. Alright, so they're four times as many, but they're only a tenth of... They do a tenth of damage. So ultimate damage payload is... Um... Don't distract me. I can't glitch out here again. If I bring... I'm getting very close to bringing it down to exactly zero, and that would be very bad, as we've already gone over. So if I shot one more torpedo, then... See, one more torpedo. Ha <laughs> ha And we're not screwed. Because I fired it off there for no reason. But let's just fire phasers. 
and bring it below zero. And there we go. Yes. Finally. Wait a minute. No. I can still warp. I can still warp this thing. I don't even care. I don't even care about not being about being overloaded. This ship is awesome for that. Look at this warp here. That ship is glitching everywhere. This game is so glitched. This game is just so glitched. It's just amazing. What an excuse for a game. What a sorry excuse. But it's, it's awesome. It's, I like it. I enjoy this game. But you have to admit, there are some glitches like this. It's just, what is going on here? And you just have to say, how can it even glitch this badly? It's just amazing. I don't even understand how that's possible. That how how could he have made the, that big a mistake? You know, just like what is wrong with this code here? It just coded terribly, I suppose. I don't know much about programming. I'm a I'm a wine skin developer, you might say. Not I don't I haven't developed wine skin, but I you even know what I'm talking about now. I'm sure I lost you. Anyway, I. I, um, if you watch some of my playthroughs, obviously these Flash games work with Mac and Safari, but since I only use Mac, I try to get Windows games to work with with Mac using Wine. I don't use Boot Camp, okay? I don't load, I don't buy Windows for that. I don't, I'm not, I refuse to purchase Windows for any reason, even to make, even for you. I mean, I might if I have to for you. It was I, I could make an exception there, but normally, normally I would not do that. So uh, let me just accumulate some resources while I explain this to you. You ha you didn't have to keep watching. You know the drill. I destroy the star base. Anything interesting is going to happen besides me talking already happened. So you could stop watching. But let me just continue my thought. So I'm, I developed for wine skin. I try to use the wine project. If you don't know what I'm talking about, Windows Emulator. Except that, that was the acronym that it used to stand for. Now it's wine is not an emulator because it's not an emulator. It's better than that. It's a compatibility layer of epicness. But it's now it's a backronym that has its own name right in it. So I don't even know how that's supposed to work. But that's what they came up with. Wine is not an emulator. All right, so just remember that wine is not an emulator. It's not. It's just. It, I don't have to partition the hard drive or anything. It creates a sandbox, right? If I want to, right on the disk, it fools all Windows programs, I'm thinking they're running on Windows when they're really just running in a compatibility la layer. Everything runs with near native speeds. It's almost. It's not slowed down at all. In rare occasion, it actually will be faster than Windows due to the um, speed of Mac just, just just because Mac is just so epic the operating system it's built on Darwin DS BSD Linux okay, it's not Linux it's Darwin distribution of, of BSD Unix okay you I'm probably lost you somewhere in there I don't know why any of this is interesting if I don't know why you're still watching okay I'm, I'm not, I can't even make this funny anymore. I'm just, oh, I just love talking about this program. I'm so good with it. I'd like to think I'm not, but okay, that's transphasic. That's what I'm looking for. Yes, you just look long enough and eventually you find something, even if it's not what you originally had in mind. And I didn't even know I was going to find that. It just popped up and that's just amazing. I'm so happy. Oh, and I never figured out the math problem, did I? Alright, let me just do that real fast, and I'll continue with wine. Alright, so. Um. Ten times more effective. Alright, so I guess it's twice as effective. The transphasic, right? Is that correct? Post in the comments. I think that's correct, right? I mean, it can do. Let's see, five times. 500 damage 
All right, is that five? I have five remaining. Twenty. Okay, so five hundred times five equals two thousand. All right, that's that's a fact. Two thousand. And twenty times fifty. I wish I could beam this one aboard also. Sad. It's a sad day. Oh, and look, there was another one. Oh, it wasn't. It was plasma. A and so, anyway. Yeah, but 20 times 50, which would be the quantum torpedoes, that's a thousand. And that. That thousand is half of 2,000. So, yeah, I was right. It's, it's 2,000. Twice as effective as transphasic. But it's, it's still a lot better than that because the payload happens a lot faster. Alright, I'm, I'm done talking nonsense with that. Now on to talking nonsense about wine skin and the wine project. So I don't know where I was exactly talking about that, but at some point... Let me just build a galaxy. Because I've got way more resources than I need. Build a galaxy. Yes, I'm constructing this galaxy from scratch. All right, um, yeah, so wineskin is what I'm using. It works only with Mac, because I have Mac. Basically, it can work faster. I use something called, uh, just a special engine constructed from source and perfected with wineskin. The, um, but it only works with 1.7.1, so it's the D3D boost. Basically... It's the same thing as threaded op optimization, but it's it works with all platforms. It's open source, and it's just it's a little bit better than that. Basically, it makes things run even faster with Unix or with Mac or Linux or whatever than Windows, because Windows is just sucks, just awful. Not to mention all the blue screens. And I know you think I'm having trouble now. Just wait. If I had Windows, gosh, oh, I, oh, it'd just be fails, just, it'd be, oh, I, I can't even explain it, it's been a long time since I've used Windows, I mean, the, I've used Windows all the time with Wineskin, it's just, it's a little bit different though, because it's actually using X11, which is the, in the until, I, I was using that until they updated the, uh, one to use the Mac driver, and it's just, I'm, I'm sure I lost you. See, here's the thing. If this, any of this makes any sense at all to you, then you probably realize how much, how stupid I sound because I don't know as much as you do. Okay? Or you're that guy who doesn't know anything and you're still watching and I have no idea. So really, there's no one still watching that this affects at all. So I don't know what I'm still doing here. I don't know what any of this was about. But I do know it's over now, okay? So it's over. You can go back and get on with your life, all right? So it's, it's over. Goodbye.